All right, what's on the bench? Uh, new acquisition from eBay. Um, it is a uh, resistive decade box, and you just set whatever number you want in here. So this is 233,345 ohms. Um, and uh, I have one. I have this one. Now this is the big brand name, uh, e, uh, IET. And um, these boxes are like $300 or something. They're like super, super expensive. And I bought this one cheap because one of the uh, decade res uh, switches had been overcurrented and blew up. So um, it just destroyed the switch. And so uh, it, was, it was somewhere, I don't remember which digit it was. It, it had to be one of these three. And I disassembled this thing and moved it over to the the bottom slot. So this 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 switch doesn't do anything at all. So I can do ten ohms. I just can't do single ohms. Um, and then everything else works okay. And I got it super cheap that way because uh, it was busted. Um, but I love this thing. Um, I don't use it all the time because I don't I, I kind of a little bit worried about damaging it because I really like it and and they're hard to find so um, I was on eBay and I found this thing it was $35 and I thought there's no way there's no there's no way this is going to be any good but for 35 bucks I'll take a chance now it's kind of interesting it, it has a dot com can you read that it has a um, M D S E T E so it's uh MDS, Electronic Tools Equipment, I don't know. It was a website, and it's gone. So the company's no longer in business. It had ceased to exist. And, uh, yeah, this place here. Uh, MDS, Electronic Test Equipment. There you go. MDSET.com. Anyway, they're gone. They're, they're, at least their website's gone. And uh, I, I used the Wayback Machine on the Internet and found an old... Uh, you know, copy of it, and yeah, they were selling this for 35 bucks. And so, I don't know if the guy on eBay like used to be there, he used to like have a web presence and doesn't, or somebody has their excess stock, or I don't know. Anyway, they're obviously handmade, um, and we'll open it up inside and I'll show that to you. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't know if it works though, <laughs> so let's uh, let's get out something to measure it with um, and let's go ahead and uh, put in some let's see what would be the best way to do this let me, let me get let me get something all right these leads are really nice uh, high, heavy gauge uh, silicone wire so we will plug these in and be able to run it it will run it this way. We'll go here to ohms and turn that on. Okay, 133.3K. Yeah, that's pretty good, huh? So let's uh, take it down to zero. There's 45 ohms, 46 ohms. Okay. Okay, so 40 ohms is 41 ohms. Let's see if it is zero to not. Let's put these together. Yeah, see, it's 0 0.04. So there's some excess resistance in, in the box. But, I mean, that's okay. Uh, so uh, 30 ohms, 50 ohms, 60. All right, let's go to 100 ohms. Okay, that's fine. 0.6%. Um, 500. Yeah. So we'll call it a yeah, we'll call it a 1%, a 1% box. Uh, that's 2%. Okay, we'll call it a 2% box. <laughs> but it's pretty good for, you know, quick dialing Insta. All right, let's uh, open this thing up. Dying to see inside. Um, it's either point-to-point -point wiring or some PC boards. Um, if I were going to do it, I'd probably have some PC boards with surface mount resistors, but 
I don't know if you can hit the $35. I mean, th think about building this yourself, right? You gotta buy a box, you gotta buy the, the, all these. I mean, these switches must be expensive, right? Um, I don't know. Let's take a look, get rid of that. Get rid of all the screws here. Make sure you don't lose them. All right, and the switch is all right. Oh, <laughs> wow, okay. Let's uh, zoom down here. So he, she <laughs> has taken these switches and have soldered on surface mount resistors in a tombstone fashion and then laid a wire across the top to short them all out. And then they wound uh, down to each decade. Da, 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 and then and then it comes out. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of work. So obviously, somebody has a lot of time on their hands. They did pretty 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 nice work. Cause this is gonna be fiddly. Can you imagine? How much would you pay your how much would you pay yourself to uh to build something like this, right? Wow. Pretty amazing. All right, well, um, yeah. Okie dokie. <laughs> That's amazing. That's just amazing. Um, yeah, see, I would have had a little PC board that I just did, 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 did and then have, I don't know. But that's just me. <laughs> this is cheaper for sure, <laughs> but a lot more labor labor intensive. I think you're paying a saving Peter to pay Paul, whatever it is, the, whatever that saying is. Uh, wow, okie dokie. Well, I do want to make a change though while I'm in here. I want to do two things to this box now that I know it works okay. Um, the first thing I want to do is to move the binding posts. They broke the cardinal rule that they don't, they don't, they don't, they aren't at three quarters of an inch. So I got to move one over. Um, and maybe, maybe I need to move both over. Let's see here. Where, did, where can they go? Can I move just one or the hole's going to be so wonky? And if I move two holes, then I'll have these big holes gaping in the front, and that might piss me off too. Uh, or I can make a little plate and move one over and have the plate hold everything. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll make a little aluminum plate that will cover up any uglies onto the outside world. The other thing I want to do is to... Uh, protect this label. This label is just printed on a piece of paper and uh, it's going to get worn out. So I think yeah, I still have some out here. I have some nail polish, some clear nail polish. This is great stuff. And I will put that on there and uh, it will It will last forever. I'll be do a couple coats. Yeah, but without this on there, it would have never lasted. Oh, okay. well, let that dry. Put another coat on. Let me, uh, let me work on, while that's drawing, let me work on building a little plate here. And uh, we'll get these moved into three quarters of an inch and uh, go from there. All right, so I have the binding posts out uh, and I made a little plate uh, and marked it out. I'm gonna use my uh, roper punch here and uh, some holes in it. That all this squeeze strength I have in the, my old age. 
I just turned 69. How's that? All right. All right. Uh, come on, you can do it. There we go. All right, that's going to be good. And that plate will sit will sit like a so and cover up all my sins. So that will be good. It's better this way. That yeah, doesn't matter. Better the other way. Anyway, I'll put that together and see how it turns out. All right, I have uh, one side done and obviously this hole needs to get bigger or needs to slide over for the other uh, the other to go in there and have the right spacing so let's put a hole in there and there we go let's get him fixed in straight. Ooh, don't break it. Don't break it. All right. What do you think? Looks pretty good. Let's make sure it uh, make sure it fits after all that work. Yeah, perfect. All right. So now I need to put the little the little uh, Wires back on. Probably should have put nicer nicer posts on here. These are really cheap Chinese ones, but they seem okay. All right, look at that. Perfect. And it uh, looks nice from the outside. A little metal plate there. Looks like it was meant to be there. And I think I'll put one more coat of nail polish on here, although this one is looking good already. It's not gonna, not gonna get any worse than that. Um, so yeah, there you go. 35 bucks. I think it's a steal. 